Okay, you got to run warm up here. I heard you've got one of the really like unique, almost like Eastern Bloc warm up. <laughs> Is that true? That's true. Did you yeah. get it from Russia? Yeah, I saw some of the uh, the first time I was in the uh, Soviet Union. That tells you how old I am. Soviet Union. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, was at their uh, a practice with some younger kids and was watching them warm up and so. Uh, just kind of picked up a few things from them a long time ago and just always stuck with me. Just some wrestling, fighting games, combative games, just to kind of get the essence of wrestling down and some warm-ups. And, and some of the trick with this age of kids is just getting them to learn how to wrestle without them thinking they're wrestling, you know? It's having fun and positioning, movement, you know? So, so you, I look at it, you and Kevin just missed each other at U of O, right? Yep. So, you just, so, so you're four well, years older than him? Yeah, well, yeah, but, you know, his redshirt freshman year was my senior year at Oregon, so, you know, we, we were there together for about a year. A year? You were yeah, a year, yeah. okay. He was my workout partner. Yeah, they brought him in to replace me, and what a good replacement he yeah, was. Yeah, great replacement. <laughs> great replacement. So they went from All-American to All-American, yeah. right, like, literally yeah, from you we to him. Yeah, we were two-time All-Americans. Yeah. It should have been three-time, each of us, so. Yeah, that's what yeah. he was telling me about that. Yeah. He said you got had to get fused or something? Yeah, crazy? I had some, yeah, some neck. You're uh, tough, dude. Yeah, my senior year, I wrestled the NCAA tournament with a herniated disc. Oh, my god. I mean, two weeks later, I was getting getting it done, so. Oh, you got fused two weeks after yep. the NCAA tournament? Well, um, I didn't actually get it fused, but I, have a, I had a disectomy. They took it out and had a laminectomy as well. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah. Back when they used to go through the back, I yeah. got a scar, big scar. Now they the go through the, the front yeah, of the neck, right? Exactly, yeah. Okay, we look at this. Um, well, first thing, you're a doctor. Yeah. I think we need to point that out. <laughs> uh, and and let, let's get this straight. Optometrists are doctors. Yeah. I just, yeah. I, I'm just, yeah. doctors. people just don't say that. It makes me mad. Yeah. You, you did medical school. You did everything that a doctor has to yeah, do. Yeah, so you do, you do, uh, it's kind of like dental. So you, you would do a four year undergrad degree and then you would apply. You could, the tracks are you could go to dental school, you could go to medical school, optometry school. You know, whatever. So we went to four more years as well. So then, at the end of that four years, then you can practice optometry. Okay. So in Oregon, you know, it's a legislative uh, profession as well. In the state of Oregon, we can do some, you know, oral antibiotics, injections. Oh wow. We can do, uh, you know, some minor lid procedures. So it's not like in some other states like California, you can't do as much. Some back east, you can't do gotcha. as much. But but the more rural areas, you know, we, we, we can do a lot of stuff. So I, we really view ourselves as a primary eye care professional. So wow. in Oregon especially. So. Camp's about to roll. You're going to get yep. warm up started. Thanks for the time. Yeah, good, good talking to yeah. you.